Welcome to step eight. Hey, y'all, right here we are playing classic Terraria. I am Noah Mobley, and this is Gillop and Vinny, and we are taking another step into the world of poison pumpkin pie. It's step eight into our Gillop Infinity run. All right, so today we got boom pop up text, and on top of that. Boom, pop up text. No one mobly, that's who I am. I'm gonna be playing as Kill Up Infinity. And if we get rid of those two things and pull up the Reddit, you can go to Gillop Reddit and see what other Gillops are up to. We've dropped this window down so it's about the edge of the Reddit symbol there. And that's a pretty good size. Okay, and then boom, we're ready to get back into Terraria. Alright, we are in. It's time to go. Gill up infinity with 25 hours and 29 minutes. Here we go, entering the world of poison pumpkin pie. Zoom. Oh, it's a blood moon. Okay, Blood Moon is over. Montage complete. And I'm uh, going with uh, NF Luigi's advice and I'm gonna make the montage a little quicker this time around. Alright, let's take our loot, which happens to be the pig altar. We got a money trough uh, for summoning the flying pigs. We don't have to carry our piggy bank and wooden slats anymore, we'll be able to um, just use uh, the money trough like so and we got ourselves a portable shulker box. Score! Whoa! Alright, made it back to base and I figured out what our next step is going to be. We had the goblin tinkerer. We found him on our last run and uh, he is set up over in our poison pumpkin pie right now. So let's head on over to him. If we look on our map, he is right here. And this guy's going to sell us Tinker's workbench, which we can use to combine a whole bunch of our items. It's going to make us so that we can get really strong. All right, let's get to it. Whoa! Hey, alright, looks like we found ourselves some loo 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 loo. Regeneration band. Okay, looks like we made it. He looks like he's taken residence upstairs. So let's go ahead and invite ourselves up here. And we need the Tinker's Workshop and some rocket boots. Thank you. Alright, I teleported back and I found a good spot for it. I'm going to put it right here next to our imbuing station. So grab our Tinkerer's Workshop. Plop that down right there. We're going to pull our accessories off of our body. For the most part, we're going to get a lot of upgrades real quick. First off, spec boots. They're Hermes boots with the rocket boots. And that makes flight happen. One mana regeneration band. Thank you. Alright. And now we can make the magic cuffs. Alright. Well, according to my map, I got a meteorite that's come down and it is right next to the ocean. So we're going to have to gear up, head all the way over there. We're going to get this meteorite and uh, make ourselves a meteorite armor, make yourself the meteor gun, you know, the meteor stuff. Well, it looks like we made it. 
Now we gotta get mine in. Alright, now let's take all that meteorite we got and turn it into something cool. Come down here to our crafting window and meteorite bar. You craft it out of the meteorite it, um, bits and we got a few. We got 170, uh, 27 and we'll be able to make our helmet the breastplate, the pantaloons, and the gun. And on top of that we can make the ham drax, which saves us from using our palm wood hammer, which we've had for quite some time. So we'll go ahead and retire some old stuff and uh, get this new stuff equipped. Let's go ahead and take off all of our stuff for now and then we'll put on the meteorite stuff put on the space gun get that ready to go yeah like this favorite it and then also let's unfavorite palm wood hammer that goes away and the legendary silver axe that is also going away and this forceful meteor hammer axe will actually cover for both of those items we'll go put these ones away and that gives us more space to gather more loot and with our new found space gun uh, armor our armor lets us do this no mana used so we got some oomph and because uh, we could switch between this we could you know burn through our mana like this real fast we get um, extra magic damage from the set or from from this stuff anyway so we could and then shoot the bees and then yeah, the whole nine. That's our plan. To look tough. Alright, let's put this stuff away. Um, uh, for our vanity, we'll just keep how we are. It looks like we have like a cow on our head because of the pink and silver dye. And then we got this nice red shirt and then the green and white pants. I think it looks rad. Okay, I'm going to put all of our stuff away. And then we'll come up with a new plan for action to get this new stuff equipped. Let's go ahead and take off all of our stuff for now. And then we'll put on the meteorite stuff, put on the space gun, get that ready to go. Well, I teleported over to Tyler here, the angler. And he told us we got to go to the mushroom biome for a fish, a Amanita fungi fish. So we're on that mission now. We'll be able to go down our little tunnel that we made right underneath the stairs on our base. It goes down, and then right here we pass by some fungi blue fungi let's give it a shot found it looks like there's a chest over here as well looks like we got a trident some knockback potions another chest regen got the fish that we're after Alright, 
Let's head on back to the surface. And then over to the fisherman. All right, fast and fishiness. So I teleported over to wanted to see if there was any useful purchases from any of the people yet. And I happen to see if I go to her shop, she sells us the pumpkin seed. I don't know if we've gotten this before, but this place is called the Poison Pumpkin Pie, and we need to make some pumpkins. So yeah, let's grab 185 seeds and uh, get cracking. Well, I think the best place to put them is going to be at spawn. Let's go check it out. Alright, perfect. There's just trees here. Guess what there's going to be now? Pumpkin seeds. There's going to be some pumpkin seeds. I don't know if they need to be spaced, but they're going to be all over the place. Pumpkin seeds. This place is called Poison Pumpkin Pie. There's gonna be pumpkins in the sky. <laughs> right now that we have planted all of our seeds, let's go on an adventure. Let's go straight to hell and get some hellstone. We have loads and loads of pumpkins. Get those. We can get the imp staff as well. 17 over 9, so it's a better staff. Upgrade. Alright, I think we're just going to head on back down there and see about we can make some ground on getting some obsidian and also getting ourselves some more hellstone yeah. all right we got some water down here let's get some obsidian because we had still like a hundred hellstone so yeah it was just a a water problem die we took the stuff that we got on our adventure and we made ourselves the obsidian skull and the lava proof bug net the rest of the stuff we'll just go to upgrading what we got going on and then we'll see what we can do with that yeah okay we were able to take off materials that we we had left and we made um the lava waders by mixing our boots so now we can walk on lava and in on hellstone and stuff. Um, we can use a lava proof bug net. We're going to have this ham axe and also the molten pickaxe as well. Those are going to be our new lineup of things that are coming with us on our next adventure. Our next step with Gilop Infinity. Alright, let's see what happens. Bye.